Oh, shoot. What is up, y'all? Cheeseburger TWR is back for another drink review or three rounds 153, 154, 155. Fight for real this time, baby. Happy Cheeseburger TWR Tuesday. Yes, we are back. Yes, I have a Santa hat on. This thing is very, like, it must have been very cheap because, like, look, just, like, this thing is about as big as my forehead, the white part, and there's, like, the red part is just kind of, um, there, and yes, uh, I am reviewing some stuff that I bought around Christmas time. Uh, I either bought these in November or December, and I have the song, Ho, 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 we are Santa's elves, ho, ho in my head right now, so we are Santa's elves, we won't forget you, we are Santa's elves. Oh yeah, food review, so yeah, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and I bought these three limited edition Meyer sodas, uh, I've been wanting to break these open for a long time, but I did want to review them, the expiration date on here, June 11th of 24, so... Uh, let's just take a look at what we're looking at here today. Cranberry soda, cranberry naturally and artificially flavored soda, caffeine free baby, but all of the sugar are belong to this one. We have pomegranate spiced cider soda. So we'll just go ahead and take that. Very uh, descript and very nice looking bottles by the way. And uh, the last one here, I'm not sure what order we're going to do these in, but we'll just check it out. We have ginger beer soda, caffeine-free, all the stuff. Look at all of the stuff. No customization. How dare they not customize these? But, yes, uh, I have wanted to drink these. Like I said, these have a boatload of sugar. So if you are the diabetes, uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Do you see all that? Don't do it. Do not do it. Do not try this at home. Uh, again, we're just going to uh, go ahead and rank these maybe just amongst themselves or, you know, we'll do the whole top five, top 15. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to go ahead and get after these here. Uh, I figure maybe just a little different from uh, the burger from yesterday. And sorry, I was just looking at some stuff. But yeah, so we've got the cranberry soda. We're going to bust this one open first. Hopefully... Uh, there's not going to be a lot of carbonation or anything. Look at the nice little penguin on there. But yes, yeah, so we'll go ahead and bust this open and hopefully... Okay. But yeah, hopefully we'll be able to grab a nice thumbnail out of all of these, though. But yes, uh, we'll go ahead and take a drink of these again. 153, 154, 155. Um, two drops to you, Alonzi. Happy Cheeseburger TWR Tuesday with offshoots. So here we are. Uh, we'll go ahead and try this one first, the cranberry soda. Again, these are from Meyer. Hopefully you have a Meyer uh, by you. Look at that limited edition, baby. Here we go. It's weird, the, the cranberry kind of hits you at the end. It smells kind of cranberry-y. It's weird because like the flavor kind of dances all around your tongue, but like not right on top of it. Uh, it actually is pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take one more sip. Yeah, it's decent. Uh, I did. I was gonna have a palate cleanse in between, so I just got some water and a Powerade Zero bottle. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we will go ahead and try the pomegranate and spice cider next. This one, the expiration date is June 11th of 24 as well. Again, it's got some nice fizz in it too. I'm surprised I haven't belched yet, but this kind of smells like dirt. I don't know, I guess, well, I guess that's pomegranate, but uh, two drops to you. Cheers. Mm. 
Um, it does have a nice spice to it. I almost wish it was like a little more spice, but I do like the, the cidery taste of the year. You get the pomegranate as well. I think I like that one a little better. Uh, like I said, really good flavor. Even though it's Meyer brand stuff, it's actually a uh, pretty good flavor. Uh, gonna go ahead and cleanse the palate here again. And damn near, <clears throat> damn near choke here at the end. So again, ginger beer soda. Hopefully this tastes like kind of a, like a ginger ale, but we'll see. It doesn't look like it has much fizz or whatever, but Oh, wow, this is really strong on the ginger. I was not expecting that. All right, here we go. It smells like when you get sushi from, like, the grocery store or whatever, and it's got those, the ginger flaps in there. Uh, you could swear that it was, like, infused with Lysol or what have you. I'm sorry, but... <clears throat> oh, mid-game belch there. All right, cheers. Two drops to you. Cheers. Wow, that is super gingery. Just think of like, think of like whatever kind of ginger ale that you like the most, whether it's Schweppes or Canada Dry or Verner's is really big here in Michigan. Uh, the Detroiters love their Verner's. People swear it has medicinal uh, properties and what have you. And like multiply that ginger taste by about 10. And like, that's what this is. Like, this is like Boomer Drink Central. This is like... People would enjoy this back in 1924, let alone 2024. Uh, I think this had a light, a later date. I don't know, but we're going back in. Yeah, that is super ginger. It's literally like, you may as well just like be chewing on a piece of ginger root or like a little a slab of ginger and just like mouthing it and everything. I just like... Oh, uh, this one says June 10th of 24. Um, I'm not mad about it. It's really strong, but, like, I really like the way that it bites. Um, I guess, like, we won't do, like, a traditional score uh, as we would, but I will go ahead and rank these uh, in the order that I like them or dislike them, whatever. So in third place, we have the Cranberry Soda, a very classic. You get kind of that uh, that Christmas, that Thanksgiving vibe. Uh, good stuff. It, it's not terrible. Like I said, it's just not the best. Uh, second best, second place here is the pomegranate spiced cider. Again, this is really good tasting and uh, it's got a really nice t taste. And, uh, you know, you get that cider note, you get kind of the pomegranate notes. It's got a little bit of spice. I guess I wish it had a lot more spice to it, but like this really won me over the ginger beer. It, uh, it's good stuff. Like I said, it's really gingery. It's like, uh, I feel like I'm having like tablets from Haiti or what have you, but this is really gingery. Uh, so this will be first place. The pomegranate spice cider is second place and the cranberry soda is third place. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this little Christmassy Christmas in February, baby. And now get rid of that. Look at my beautiful locks. But yes, hopefully you like this content, and if you did, go ahead and give me that big thumbs up and smash the like button down below. But you know how we do here. Give me your best Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh! Smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Comment below. Uh, have you had these? Do you like any particular drinks or foods for Christmas? Again, I know it's February. I know I've waited forever to do this. I can't wait to drink and finish the rest of these, though. Really good stuff. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but, like, the camera is a lot further away from me than it normally is. I guess I like the way that this is working. No diggity. Um, but, yes. Yeah, so, 
Hopefully you enjoy this, a little tangent, a little one-off. There are a bunch of other things that I want to do. I was actually thinking of something else today, but I decided against it. Wanted to finally open these so now I can just like guzzle these down like a bottle of badwa and get after it. But there it is, uh, your champion, the ginger beer soda. And you know what, y'all? It's Tuesday evening. Uh, have a great evening, but this is where I leave you. Thank you and take care. Be memorable, my shtickheads, or be forgotten. Love y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.